Hello everyone, Castellana here, and welcome to an Ichio game called Don't Open Your Eyes. This is supposed to be an ASMR horror storytelling game, and I was quite interested in it, so let's just jump right in. Also, I really like how you hit start, the eye opens, but you go over any other option and it doesn't open. Nice little detail. So let's start. Nice little bedroom. Pretty simple. Dots. It's getting late. My eyelids have become, begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Well, sometimes I listen to white noise, which is easier to fall asleep to. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. I agree. But not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound. Tonight, it's just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. Depends how tall you are. Probably more, because I'm like 5'2". I know, since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room, there's a bed. In my room, there's a wardrobe. In my room, There's pictures framed on the wall. Close your door, dude. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand, where, where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Hmm. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to fall asleep. Hello? Question mark? Well, what's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. Yeah, it definitely can't be your imagination because a lot of the time, it doesn't do volume. Uh, your whisper can be the same as your talking when you're like in your mind. So not your imagination, bud. And closer. And closer. And closer. They're gone. 
Right, there's no way someone could be there. Here. I kind of want to say yes, though, but the game says don't bend your eyes. I'm going to say yes. I like options. Yes. I open my eyes. Nothing. There's nothing there. Okay, well, I'll meet you guys back to that, uh, yes, no option. <laughs> okay. Do I open my eyes? No. I don't open my eyes. Hi. Oh, look. oh open your eyes. I do my best to ignore the voice. Because you're a creep who's in my house. Where are your manners? Where are yours? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Okay, you're not asking for help. You're ordering me to open my eyes. Is that how it is? I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Ugh. Please, no. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. How about you get out of my house? That is a better option than what you are offering me. I have never seen myself before. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know if my face is ugly. Probably is. I don't know the color of my skin. Probably decaying. I don't know if I'm even here. Probably not. We're all space dust. That is why I need you to open your eyes. You're not good at this. You're not going to get me to open my eyes. <laughs> so you can tell me how I look. You look like a creep. Really, by your actions. I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. Not gonna work. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. I have goosebumps. Like a faded dream. I remember a lot of my dreams. My dreams are quite vivid. Dots. I know you're not asleep. Well, I'm trying to be. Listen, with those tiny ears of yours. Please don't touch me. They look so fragile. Please don't. Like I could almost grab them. Don't. I feel something caress my ear. Ha! Ah. Put my fingers around them. And tear them off. Don't. You are doing a gruesome Vincent van Gogh. Do not. Yes, because it will hurt. Will I hear your voice? Yes, because it hurts. <laughs> I will scream. It was a joke. You're not funny. I'm joking. You're not funny. You're, you're no comedian. Don't be scared. I'm very scared. You're a creep who's in my house and has been... Nah. No, go away. How do you think my eyes look? I don't care. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. They look empty. They look empty. I regret this. The eyes are the window to the soul. Mm hmm That's what someone told me. That's All true. Ago, I don't want to look at you. The soul was holy. <laughs> it's holy, huh? Bright. Beautiful. Huh. Every person has one. Yep. Both the good and the evil. 
Yep. But that person said I was the exception. Probably. You seem like the type to not have a soul. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. Nope. Essentially dead inside. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. I am mildly disgusted. Even if I felt it sometimes crawling through my veins. Do you have veins? I don't Maybe know. That's why I've never seen myself before. Because I'm empty. Probably. You need to go on some uh, self-discovery trips. But isn't that something to be grateful for? No, not really. Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. You just gotta find it within yourself. Like, find something about I'm you. I'm looking. I can ease myself of that pain. Okay. So maybe this is for the best. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second. Nor the third. Well, you're just a bundle of joy, aren't you? Nor several others who came after. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Hey, have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Yeah. That you've embraced the void as your own. Mm. I mean, depression's a thing, but... I don't know. Have you? Your eyes kind of look like lemons, like cut in half. <laughs> I remain silent. These eyes... Are these... My eyes? Yes. A good answer. Yeah, if you said no, one way to know the truth. If you said no, you could just change the look of his eyes. But I made it to be funny. <sighs> Open your eyes. No. So you won't look at me. No, I don't want to. Even though your eyes are so pretty. You don't know that. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their fell of flesh. Round like pearls. And shiny like jewels. So, so pretty. Okay, you're just being creepy. A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. Ah! No! How much time exactly? The night is still and silent. Great. <laughs> uh, goosebumps. Can I help you? People are good at closing their doors. Should have closed my door. I know where my mistake has started. Do you know? Yes, and I will close it for you if you leave. Of course you know. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Kind of. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes, me. That is reassuring. Good. I find them tricky. I mean, the push and pull ones can be. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? 
doesn't matter, I don't think. Should I try to take it off its inches? No. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? Also no. What happens when it opens? I don't know. Do I close it behind me? Well, that is respectful. Do I keep it open? Depends where it is. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Ah, uh, if you are entering other people's... Yeah. But then, how do I get out? Uh, no, dude, you'd be screwed. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? There's always windows. So many options. You're overthinking this a lot. So many things that could go wrong. You're really overthinking this. It's a door. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, me. Then just keep walking. I stare at it for a long time. Don't do that. And think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out. Yeah, boogeyman. It fills me with the need to go in. How about you just respect people's privacy. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. How did you get in? Like, do I live in a house? Do I live in an apartment? Do I... Did some fool just randomly let you in? You alerted me. Good job. You messed up. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. A graveyard? That might be good. I feel at home there. Sure. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. Not working out for you, bud. So I search hard for a door that's open, for an entryway covered in darkness. I messed up. And for someone to be at the other end, awake. And we are the unfortunate person who did these things. As if expecting me. Trust me, I wasn't expecting you. But you won't look at I don't want to. You intrude. You're you're an intruder. Even though you had your door open for visitors. I did not. This is my house. You are not welcome. Did you have a little invitation card? I don't think so. Why is that? Because you're a creep. Are you afraid? Is the sky blue? Do I scare you? Is the sky blue? Don't be dumb. We have been chatting for so long. No, you have been talking and I have been trying to imagine that you're not there. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. I do not. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate. Spit. I'm sure your hands are warm. Because unlike you, I have body heat <laughs> and blood. So very warm. But I'm actually a very cold person. Like, I'm freezing. <laughs> Because people are always warm. 
I'm contraire. Hey. No. How do my hands look? Why can't you even see your own hands? It's not that hard. When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Do you even have warmth? Answer me. They look tired. They look deceitful. They look deceitful. They look I'm getting those vibes. Deceitful. Yes. Ew. That may be so. These hands of mine tend to squirm into places I could never imagine. Be it tiny holes in the walls, housing arachnids of all sizes. Ew, I hate spiders. Or the pockets of midnight walkers, strolling the parks that sometimes serve me as home. These fingers squirm in, and drag out what they find. <laughs> so now I carry all sorts of trinkets with me. You have a backpack? Keys. Peeping gadgets. Notes with love poems in them. Those are probably not for you. <laughs> the corpse of one or two insects, eventually hidden away by those who come take their place. I hate bugs. Have a major dislike for bugs. I keep everything with me, regardless of their use. So you're a hoarder. But sometimes. Maybe it was something important. The person I took them from could be distraught. Yeah, don't do that. That's also called like theft and stealing. Their happiness shattered. Yeah, you're not winning any brownie points. Their lives ended. So I consider and consider maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. You could do that. Try and be a good guy. But what if I need them? You don't need them. What if the keys can one day open the door I want? No. Just don't. What if the poems help me befriend a new partner? No. If you really care, you don't need someone else's work. What if arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance? No! There are too many ifs. So I oh. let them stay with me. I thought he wouldn't. Okay. No. Slowly becoming a part of me. Helping me grow. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. Aren't doors normally seven feet tall? You don't even have fingers, you have tentacles. Squirming and coiling around everything they feel. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. Yet yeah, need, not want. Two different things. I would be saddened if my body grew too much. So you're like the new version of Slenderman. Because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. That's probably for the best. Hey. Stop. Have you ever attempted to help yourself grow? Yes. By mercilessly taking away from someone else? No. There's a thing called self-care. Maybe, maybe read up on it. It could really help you. Have you? I remain silent. These hands. Where are these? Yes, because they definitely suit you. A good answer. A good answer. Wow. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. No. So you won't look at me? No, we've already established this. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. They are definitely not. Think about it. They're not the same. Maybe you and I are similar. No, we're not. No, I know we are. 
We are not. You are a heathen. You are a disgrace. You are... Yeah. I can feel it in my skin. Do you even have skin? Because right now you're just a void of blackness. Oh. Can you hear it? Is that one of yours? Dude. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. Then improve yourself. If you want people to see the true you, just... I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. Creepy! There! But... Done! It's not like anyone. Probably not. Since I don't want to be judged. No one really wants to be judged, but society is very judgmental, so... I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. Well, then don't keep crying that no one can see you or you don't want, or like you want people to look at you when you're not willing to show people. I hide, fading into the dark. Well, that's not going to solve any of your problems. But you might be different. No. Because knowing you, you're going to shy away. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. You're a complete nightmare. That way you can help me. You gotta be willing to help yourself first. That's all I gotta I'll say. Be fulfilled. Um... I would be gaining nothing from this experience. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... Something. I feel like something bad is gonna happen and I'm just gonna scream and cry, probably. I cannot describe it. I am not good. Words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Or they want it to. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone? recognize me so much. Probably a psychological desire. I don't know. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Maybe. But I will. Soon. Not by me? Once you open your eyes. No. Again. 
Can you just leave? That would be just fantastic. Think about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. You're disgusting. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Um that there's no need to go that far. There's no <laughs> no need. And you inspect every crevice of mine and No. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours to let me hear what I am. A monster. And to maybe even give me a name. I'm not that creative. <laughs> Makes me feel disgusted. But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Probably not. If you don't have the words, you're never gonna find words. Hey. Stop saying hey. What does my expression look like when that fill of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. A cheerful smile, a surprised grimace, an emotionless stare. To be honest, I'd go with an emotionless stare because, like... <laughs> an emotionless stare. I regret all my decisions! Expressions are difficult. I find tones of voice more difficult. I can never fully grasp it, and it's gotten to me, gotten me in a lot of trouble. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff, from the way I walk to the way I talk. You also don't have words to describe any of that. It is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. We get hurt a lot too. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Turning old. The inevitable. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. I wouldn't mind the perishing part for you. That'd be nice. My journey began long ago. Then maybe it should end soon. Longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. Person's existence is so fleeting. Agreed. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. Well, yeah. It's kind of all we are left with, if you think about it. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather... Because these memories mean nothing to me. Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same. Blending with each other into a mottled gray. Okay. Lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had left what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. I don't know what to tell you, but... And by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? Because you... What are the words? 
You are all you have. If you give up on you, then there's no point. You have to believe in you to prove to others that you are worth believing in. But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I'm well aware. I feel things. Everyone does. Joy, sorrow, fear. Yep. I am always feeling. And right now, I hate it. I am feeling strongly. Yes, you're feeling strongly, but what? It's here, in my pulsating skin. <laughs> you say my expression is emotionless, that it shows. And if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Okay, well, that was just my opinion on how you've been talking. Hey. Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Yes. Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Yes, it's called being a teenager. Have you? Yes. I remain silent. This expression... Is this... My expression? Yes, because it's really creepy. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. No thanks. One born out of honest gratitude. No. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. Oh, no I don't. <laughs> you can tell a lot from a person by the way they speak. I am fine. <laughs> it is the only way to finally understand each other. I don't want to understand you. You don't want to understand me. So please. No. No. I see. I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Does that mean you're gonna leave? I don't want to. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. Duh. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. Probably was. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. No. We are the same. No. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. That's what risk taking is. And you too. Are a liar. Yeah. I mean. The type that shows one thing and feels another. But you made a mistake. I'm scared. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far 
has been wrong. So either you are lying to me. Were you lying to me? Do you actually know what you look like? I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. I don't want to think about that. But I do not care. Not anymore. Good. Don't listen to what other people say. Or how other people judge you. Only you can judge you. And just be easy on yourself. Open your eyes. Not happening. Dot dot dot. I didn't want to be judged. You asked for it. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. You asked for it. And that's all you did. Because you asked for it. Ask and you shall receive. So now. See me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? I don't recall. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Yes. It was those words that brought me here. Why? So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. No. Open your eyes. No. No. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Something coils around my head. The pressure on my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend. What do you see? Darkness. I want to answer. But they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... That won't do. Open your eyes. Open them. Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. like blood splatter. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? Because you killed me. You can't think anymore, right? Because you killed me. Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Die in the ditch. Even though you are a liar. And you're a creep. Nothing's changed. This piece of myself here with you. Sawed off. I don't need I anything from you. I must look for the right person. So what you can kill them too? Someone who can tell me how I look. I saw you. Someone who can explain to me. Why everyone looks like that. Because you're a monster. No one will love a monster. The 
there's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Well, that was an experience. Got a little ticked off at the end. There's a, not really much to say. So I'm just gonna end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if there's any other games that you want me to play from Geo, Steam, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!